Chris Bassett here, and I'm going to do an oil change on my 2000 Harley Sportster. Let's get into it. I just stopped into Walmart and grabbed my oil and my filter. You'll need 3.6 quarts of 20W50, and then that was the recommended oil filter. I'll also put links down in the description from Amazon. So right here's the location of the oil filter on your bike. And then underneath there's a hose that you need to unclamp to drain the oil out. The stock hose clamp broke so I purchased a 3 quarters inch diameter hose clamp to replace it with. It's kind of hard to see, let me get some light on it, but it's right there. Here's the picture from the manual if you want to use it as a reference. So I'm just using a standard screwdriver uh, to take the hose clamp off, loosen it up, and then you should be able to slide the hose off. But before it comes completely off, you want to make sure you put your drain pan underneath to catch the oil. And now that the hose clamp is loose, go ahead and pull the hose off and let the oil drain out. It takes about 15 minutes for all the oil to come out, so you've got some free time to walk around. It also takes a little bit longer because the bike's at an angle on the kickstand. When it looks like the oil's done draining, go ahead and slide the hose back on and then get your hose clamp into position. You want it to be snug. And then here I'm just tightening the hose clamp. Make sure you don't over tighten it, otherwise it would break. Alrighty, next go ahead and slide your oil drain pan underneath the oil filter and then you can twist it off by hand. It was being particularly stubborn, so I hit it with a rubber mallet to kind of break it free. And then it did end up coming off. Take some of the old oil from the old filter and then apply it to the new rubber gasket of the new filter. It'll create a tight seal. Then go ahead and hand thread your new oil filter on and then you want to make sure it's really snug. And then finally the last step is to add the new oil back into the oil tank. So right here is my dipstick. It has a temperature gauge on the outside which is handy for seeing if my oil's over temp. Uh, pull out your dipstick. Then go ahead and put a funnel inside and then uh, pour in your oil. It takes uh, 3.6 quarts of 20W50, but that could change depending on your climate. Well, you may need to adjust the viscosity of your oil if you ride your motorcycle in a hotter or cooler climate. Um, I actually had problems this summer with it like building up, like foaming out, and then actually expanding out of the tank. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments. And if you found this helpful, hit the like button. Thanks.